If you have a spine, you need chiropractic care. There's very few people that do not have a subluxation, which means a vertebrae out of alignment in the spine, causing pressure on a nerve. Those misalignments can cause a multitude of health problems, including severe back pain. Hello and welcome to Valley Health Magazine. Today we'll visit with Dr. Dale May and his two sons. All three are doctors and work together at May Chiropractic Clinic, taking care of their patients one vertebrae at a time. Today we'll start with a dance instructor whose back pain almost ended his dance career. There were times that I couldn't teach. I would have my female instructor work the lessons and um, I would coach them um, when I felt like it was that bad. And there were times that it was that bad. I mean, I could hardly move around. If, if my back stayed like it, it was, it could have very well uh, ended me competing. There's no way you can sustain that kind of dancing uh, in the shape that I was in at times. When I examined and, and uh, x-rayed uh, Mr. Kinchin, he had this pain in his lower back and going down his leg. When I first went to Dr. May, he listened to me, wanted to hear what, what kind of challenges I was having, and then he t had taken an x-ray. On the x-ray, it showed that I had a disc that was not nice and finely defined. It had a little wear on it, which, you know, realized it was from a previous injury that I had when I was probably about 21, 22 years old. On careful examination, I found out that his problem was coming from the second sacral, which is very unusual. That was causing pressure on the sacral nerves and affecting the sciatic nerve. And it'll give a symptoms that are very similar to a herniated disc. Had he gone to somewhere else and they had uh, taken an MRI on him uh, and found a small herniated disc on his uh, lower lumbar vertebrae, they would have naturally assumed that that must be what's causing his pain. But it wasn't. It was the second sacral. So Dr. May's examination revealed the source of Kenneth's problem, as well as the possibility that another doctor could have misdiagnosed his condition altogether. He would pinpoint areas and kind of, he would kind of go over with me and tell me what he felt and I would also be able to feel the areas and then he would pursue the proper type of adjustment that would need to be done. We uh, adjusted it back in the right position. It took several times for it to to uh, get repositioned and after we did that, well, he felt fine. Dr. May was able to pinpoint and give me relief that lasted. When you're dancing, it's a sport and you're moving and your body's moving in a lot of ways. I, I felt better. My general health and what have you had improved immensely. I would suggest for anybody that has back problems, and it doesn't have to be lower, it could be upper, what have you, that um, you go seek help. There's no sense living like that. It is no fun. I mean, it's so rewarding to see the people uh, get their lives changed and feel better. Next we'll visit with Joyce Thomas and see how Dr. Troy May saved her from going through a second painful surgery.